Okay guys, here we are in a lovely place called Asheville. And uh, let's take the screw out of this. I'm not talking to myself, it's on video. I video everything. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that tea. That was quick. Well, the kettle was on for me, you see. Nice cup. Yeah, I've trusted you with it. <laughs> okay, marks are of ten. Yeah. Ten for the cup and ten for the tea. Because that's a nice yeah. nice nicely cup, brewed cup, cup of tea there. Yorkshire, of Yorkshire, yeah, I thought I could, I could taste the uh, the Yorkshire tea. Right, let's have a quick look in here. Not looking good so far, is it? No. Bit of sewage coming out of the top there. Yeah. Okay, time to put my gloves on. Oops. That is. Blocked. The downstairs toilet, I suppose. Yeah, well, it, it's connected to, it'll be connected to the main sewage system, yeah. that, so. Um. It seemed to, it seemed to, mind you, maybe I'm making this up. No, I'm not making it up. When the washing machine was on, especially, yeah. it was doing it. It was leaking a bit. Yeah. But well, the thing is, if it's, if it's blocked, it'll always leak. Is yeah. That, is it? Does it all come out through that one drain? This one here? Every, yeah. I, I would imagine it does the age of the property. They're not going to be uh, separate systems because the newer properties will this have... Was, obviously, this is an extension that's been yeah. put on in the last 15 years. Yeah, yes. but the newer properties will have a system for your, for your rainwater ah. and a system for the sewage, but I imagine it's all coming through this one. Right. So first of all, what I'll do is i got some rods out and just have a little uh, right. poke around with the rod. Okay. It may be very simple. So. Let's, see. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, what's happened is someone, someone's just used Lost some the part of the uh, system, yeah. which is, is kind of pushed that. Nice. Yeah. You've got a nice job, haven't you? Yeah. Well, you know, even Buckingham Palace has this problem. Yeah, if you just equate it to, it's just a, another job, you know. Yeah. Without us doing this basic infrastructure where the whole country comes to a standstill. Juddering hard. Still raining, guys. Spitting anyway. Okay, I'll get a couple of more rods on it and we'll see if we can rod this bad boy. Okay. I don't mind you watching at all. You don't mind YouTube watching, so you no. don't mind me watching. I'm just interested. I've had many, many years of customers being interested in what I do, and I like it when they are. Yeah. Well, that's it. Flush it and forget it. That's what yeah. most people do, which is the normal thing. Yeah. 
I'm trying to be nice and gentle here so we don't have uh, a little river running down the... Uh, mm. And well, that's one reason why I've gone with the rods straight yeah. off because if I put the jester in, I guarantee you that you're going to have sewage running down the road. Most people don't want that. So if I can do it nice and... It's good that it's raining though. Yeah. If we can do it nice and gently with this. How many rods does it generally take? Well this one here, you've got a, a driveway which is approximately five metres be before we get to the pavement. After we've gone five metres we're then into the public area. So if I don't clear it by say seven meters, we're then potentially going on to me reporting this job into United Utilities and them coming out and doing what they need to do because what I don't want to do is get my gear trapped in the road. You don't like that. I don't think you would. No, I don't either. But hopefully it won't come to that. There we go. That's the sign of success, baby. That's yeah. That's a sign of a really good result, that. Yep. There you go, guys. Nothing better than the sound of running water in a drain. Beautiful, that. Lovely, lovely. So if you'd be kind enough yeah. uh, to... Have you got an upstairs toilet? Mm -hmm. um, flush the upstairs toilet as well, please. Yeah. Just the one. Yeah, and then flush the downstairs one as well. Yeah, I know I'm giving you the run around. Right, the upstairs first and then the Looking good, compadres. Yeah, looking very good. So, yeah, very. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do next is, uh, do you have an outside tap? Yes. I'll just nip round. I take you to the back garden. Yeah. Um, I'll just nip round and um, uh, give it a bit of a. Throw a few buckets down to clear this area here. Okay. Um, I'll bring the hose round, it's long enough. Uh, no, no problem, I'll do it with a bucket. Okay. Well, I've got a bucket handy as well. Uh, okay. Well, you've got nothing, nothing we're not sure for. No. Are no, we sure to nothing for That's it. You've even, <laughs> even got your own drain engineer on the job. Yeah. Which is more than everyone else in this road. There you go. So you're not safe. That's it. <laughs> well, that's what I like to hear. Sometimes I do go on holiday though, so oh, well, unfortunately nice. when that happens, uh, you know, you have to get someone else in usually. Yeah. Right, so let's give this a little swill out. Get a disinfectant in the water as well for you.
flowing like a garden. Do they not a, a of tissue? It could be. It, it could be. Um, because I've been in hospital and of course I've been using the bathroom. Well, it won't be. It, it won't be tissue really. It's. Just, uh, do you use any wet wipes? No. Okay. Well. No, not guilty of anything like that. No. We have nobody in the house that's other than us too, so. Yeah. Just yeah. Coffee grains all right going down there. Oh yeah. That's all right. Then. Yeah. I mean they go in the garden in the summer. Yeah. When when was the last time you had the problem with the drains? Um, I don't have one for many sure. many, years. many years. Yeah. So, yeah. it's just one of those. If you're getting problems on the drains regularly, yeah. I guess you know you're going to have to start. Um, you. <laughs> you know, and because it's running so well, and um, I, I literally, I did go. I went one, two, three, four, five, six. I went outside of the boundary. Um, it could have just been. Uh, there was a bit of a blockage onto the, the main drain there and we've cleared it and it's running quite freely now okay. so Actually, yeah so I'm not going to put a camera down uh, I don't think it's something to worry about I think uh, I think you've just, just been unlucky so those plants are okay there then I'm not doing anything no else. no no the plants okay. are fine sometimes you'll get problems with roots but I can't really see that because it's coming no, out from under the... Yeah. we used to have a big tree there, but yeah. we have a big tree there. And yeah. We have for, ooh, a long time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we're all good there. Uh, I'll put that lid back on. Thank you. Drink your tea. I will do now. Be cold and diluted. Well, as long as it remains wet, we'll be <laughs> yeah. okay. Well, I don't think there's a problem with that today. No. Right, let's have some tea. Hmm. Very nice. Okay, let's put these damn screws in, as I call them. Mm. But well spotted, because um, you've seen the water coming out of the top, yeah. and which saved you um, saved you basically uh, having problems indoors. Although you did say that. Yeah, it was the, just this morning. I yeah. The toilet and it, I thought, it was slow. <laughs> it yeah. came up to the top, you know, and they were, go down, go down, go down. Yeah. So it did. But, um, and it seemed strange that I, it was just over the weekend, and because I, I was out here a little bit, not that you can tell, doing a bit of gardening. With those yeah. Of, and I um, thought, why is the water running down there? The washing machine was on. Yeah. And then the following day, same thing happened when the washing machine was on. Yeah. So obviously it's that that large amount of water that goes down from the washing machine. Yeah. We don't have a dishwasher. There's only two. We don't have a bath. No. So you know there's no big influx of water coming through except the washer. Yeah. So yeah, I think you've just been unlucky to be honest. Well, lucky in a way. Lucky that it didn't get worse. Lucky that it found you. Well, that's nice of you to say. So where do you go for your holidays? I tend to go to uh, Tenerife. Do you? I like a place called Las Gigantes. Mm, yeah. uh, but I'll be honest with you, I'll literally go anywhere. <laughs> um, anywhere where there's a good bargain. Well, you know, anywhere where it's nice and sunny and there's a bit of a view and... You know, you just get away for a bit, because I, I do tend to do a lot of drain work, and I am, I am uh, busy all the time. I, I, my phone never stops ringing, uh, and I'm often I'm at uh, at the weekend. So I'm, out, I'm out, you know. So sometimes it's nice to switch the phone off and have a break. So, so give me your bandage. Will do. So I can give them to my husband who does all that business. Okay. I don't. But he's 86 and he's staying inside. <laughs> right, yeah, don't blame him. Yeah. I might join him in a minute. This rain's starting to do me head in. <laughs> yes, it's um, 
going to calm down again, isn't it? We've got one of those old-fashioned barometers, and it's it only changed today. It's been unfair to dry. Yeah. It's just decided to change. Did it go to wet though? We have not had enough of it in the last hour. Uh, it, if it didn't go to wet, you know it's not working. <laughs> it's about 100 years. Okay, drain team. Another one bites the dust. Whew. Okay, if you like the video, I do appreciate a like. Helps me uh, promote my channel. Helps me grow the channel. Guys, I don't often ask you to do it, but uh, if you share the video, that also uh, apparently helps the logarithm. Well, the algorithm, not the logarithm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm bloody useless on this stuff. Uh, the algorithm uh, helps YouTube pick it up to say uh, it's popular. Anyway, if you don't, don't bother. I'm going to be still clearing drains, whether it's raining or not. But anyway guys, as usual, you make sure you have a great rest of your day.